furlongs out, and they have run three quarters of the mile in 1.15 and 2. Rich Natural Star continues to plummet. The stretch runner is about 15 lengths from the lead. An embarrassing moment for the thoroughbred industry as Rick's natural star finished 180 links behind the turf winner at last year's Breeders' Cup. And thankfully, the adventure has ended safely for Rick's natural star. The conclusion of a wacky week at Woodbine where Rick's owner, Dr. William Livingston, put up $20,000 to make his unproven claimer eligible for the turf taking advantage of the publicity and oh, his horse. So funny. That is up there. And here is the thoroughbred who ran in the Breeders' Cup turf and led the field for the first half mile before fading. Now coming to Los Alamitos, and if he happens to win the fourth race, he will earn a $40,000 bonus. They came way to a beautiful start. As expected, Rick's natural star has no early speedy drops right back to dead last. Even entering him in a race against quarter horses and taking home an appearance fee. He had performed, he had been loyal, uh, and uh, we wanted to see to him that he got in good hands. Fed up, Weber purchased Rick's in a $7,500 claiming race, retiring him to Sunnyside Farm in Paris, Kentucky. Today, Ricks enjoys his own eight-acre paddock and will serve as a riding horse for the children of Sunnyside Farm. The nicest part is that he's not, he's not a, an embarrassment to the industry. And he's happy and he's well cared for. Well, Rick's Natural Star, uh, we're told, is a very intelligent and kind thoroughbred, and the Rick's Natural Star saga thankfully had a happy ending, enjoying life now on the farm in Kentucky. And actually,